Whether you're just starting your Apollo cosplay, or the con season's been really rough, like it clearly has been for us, this tutorial should provide the basic knowledge you'll need to be objecting to the prosecution in no time. If you're starting from scratch, skip ahead a bit. This next part will show you how to wash your old style away for a clean sleep. Here, I'll be working with a Derek from Art of Wigs. Sadly, I don't remember the specific color. First, take a wide tooth comb and comb out the excess product from your last adventure. His horns might take a little work. Once you've done that, it'll look kind of poofy in the bangs. But that's alright, he'll be getting a bath soon. To wash your wig, you'll want to run a sink full of lukewarm water. While the water is running, add about a cap full of wig shampoo. If you don't have a shampoo specifically for wigs, baby shampoo or something with very few chemicals will do. Once your sink is full, gently swish your wig around in the water to get the shampoo in all of the fibers. Depending on how much product you used last time, you may have to do this a few times to get it to come completely clean. Once you're satisfied with the wash, drain the sink and run water over it until no more suds are in the water. After rinsing out your wig, gently squeeze out the excess water and pat it dry with a towel. When your wig is completely dry, it'll be time to start the restyling process. For this process, you will need a hair dryer, hair clips, hairspray, a wide tooth comb, a wig head, and scissors if this is your first time styling. First, separate out your bangs as these will become his horns later. Once you've got a good amount of bang, clip it out of the way and do the same on the other side. After you've done that, begin combing the remaining hair backwards, making sure it's as straight as possible on the sides. This will give him that gelled back look. Lightly spritz it with hairspray and continue combing it back. For parts that won't quite stay straight, spray them again and using your clips and your hair dryer, heat set them in place. If you're starting from scratch, be sure to leave some hair for his sideburns. As you can see, mine are already cut short, which makes them easy to discern from the rest of the wig. Continue combing and spritzing until you're happy with the result. Then move on and repeat it on the other side. While his hair is setting up, take time to trim your sideburns to length and spritz them into slightly pointed shapes. Having sideburns will help give your wig a more natural look. With another light spritzing here and there, smooth any flyaway hairs into place for that flawless look. Now that the basics are done, it's on to his signature spikes. Tape the clip off the first spike and comb it out. Then, you're going to section it into several layers. This will help them stand upright. Comb up the first section, the one closest to the back, and spritz it with hairspray. Then, use your hair dryer to heat set it. Do this to both the front and the back of the section. When it's dry, it should stand on end effortlessly. Repeat this process for the rest of your sections. I did about three per spike slowly merging them together as you do so. Spray the tip and smooth it together until it's uniform. Repeat these steps for his second horn.
Now that you're done, look out. Here comes justice. <laughs>